Welcome to another edition Ash, of... stop. Stop, stop, stop. I've had enough. I've had enough of this hairy face. I got you this. You need to sort it out or you dump. Babe. All right. Welcome to another edition of... Uh, oh. Wall Blitz 3-in-1. The perfect way to trim that beard. I hope. Otherwise, I'm out of a girlfriend. Now, I've researched the hell out of trimmers on YouTube, on Amazon, on Argos, all the review sites. And this one is a bit expensive, but it is the best one. The problem with me, I have really thick testosterone filled hair, which is insanely hard to trim down and shave. So I've been looking for a trimmer which is slightly more stronger than the other ones and will help give me a nice, smooth, delicate trim. This is a completely unsponsored review, so I will be telling you the truth. I'm hoping it will work. So first off, we're going to give you the unboxing, and then we're going to be giving you a live demo. And then at the end of the show, we'll be seeing if it passes the female test, which is, does it give a nice, smooth, close shave, or will you be needing to do a, a razor shave to make sure that it's soft enough? I think I've spoken too much. Let's do this. So before you get cracking, you will have to charge this unit for one complete hour and unfortunately you cannot use it while it is being charged. So you know the unit's fully charged once the blue light disappears. To give you an idea on why I needed to change trimmers is my current brawn. It's very painful, always drags and pulls the hair. It's just gotten progressively worse as I've aged, so I do not recommend this device. I'm gonna be trying out this new one with the standard head. I'm gonna be trying out pointing downwards on this side and I'm gonna be pushing upwards on this side just to give you an idea on how it works. It was slightly painful as it got to the moustache area, a little bit of tingling. However, nowhere close to the dragon I experienced in the previous brawn. Perhaps if I use a, a pre-shave to soften up the skin or maybe a hot towel, it would have been a nicer shave. It will need a few more attempts to finish touching up. However, I'm going to be going on this side now and pushing it upwards to see how that feels. Alright, when shaving upwards, it was night and day difference in comfort level. It was a lot smoother and softer. However, I gotta say, it did drag a few times, especially around the chin areas. As you can see, look, I've already got a tiny bit of blood. What I will be trying now is changing the default attachment and trying out one of the other ones. So I'm gonna be going with the smallest one to see how that one feels. Perhaps it will be softer on my skin type or maybe it will be better around this area. This bit's always tricky. You gotta get it completely parallel and push evenly, and then it just pops into place. This one, this attachment is super comfortable. It uh, glides up and down, there's no pulling on the hairs whatsoever. Just need to finish up a few bits. I'm not sure how much of the hair this is cutting because there's still tiny bits of hair all over my face. So this is more about getting a little bit of light stubble rather than a complete shave. So this head is more like a shaving head. So let's see how close it gets to the skin. So this attachment, as you can see, you get a slightly closer cut and it does feel very smooth, a lot smoother than 
this side, this side's a bit maybe sandpaper for girls, especially if you're kissing or rubbing against the cheeks, whereas this one feels a lot smoother. We'll put the test to a real life lady. And let me just do this side now. I finished with this add on. It's been uh, very comfortable to use. It just feels like a nice massage going on in your face. I do recommend the Over the Braun Series 3, as this one was a complete nightmare to use. Wasted. I'll show you downstairs how much hair that got cut into the sink. Feels good, feels really nice. Just gonna finish off the job with some Nivea for Men Poche Bar. Feels sexy. Hmm, I wonder what Ash looks like today. <gasps> what have you done with my hairy husband? It's me, babe, it's me, and I got you tea. Oh my god. Wait, 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 let me just check. Mm. What do you think, Kashi? Girls, if you want your husband to make you tea and look this good, ta -da! I'm a changed man! Wall, the best a man can get. What do you really think then? Um, okay, so I think it looks great. It looks really smooth and soft. There's a little bit of skin irritation. You look amazing, like way better than yesterday or you know before. Um, there are a few areas that you've missed, but that's okay. I kind of, you know, expect that from you. No, it looks, it looks lovely. It looks beautiful. But it, good results. Nice, smooth skin finish. Feels like a shaved finish as well. So, yeah, I mean, it looks good. Appearance-wise, end result, good. There's a lot of negatives to it. If you use the default blade, you will be getting some skin irritation if you're shaving upwards. If there was an intermediate blade in between this one, and this one, that would be great because this one is a bit too aggressive okay. for especially sensitive areas, if you know what I mean. And this one doesn't do much at all. Problem with the, the stand, however, is it doesn't actually provide any space for the other blades to, to fit on. So you all just have to have the other blades laying around. There is no universal power supply. You all have to use a country specific mains powered one, which is bizarre because yeah. in toilets you don't really get main Shame sockets. Is it just universal you yeah you get the user bizarre. yeah it, it's it's weird mm. and also if you're charging the unit you need to take it out of the stand plug it in and try to squeeze it into the stand it would have been a lot nicer if there was some sort of integration point with the stand to just let, make it a lot more natural like you do get with some yeah. razors yeah. it makes a complete mess there's hair everywhere oh. it would be nice if it had some sort of hair management system mm. where the hair gets collected and stored so it's not perfect like you see in maybe the other video reviews or other reviews out there. I bought this with my own money so I'm telling you the truth and I gave you a live demonstration. I will be trying out the wet shave and I will be giving you a progress update below on how I get better with the techniques. But overall I think 7 out of 10. Overpriced. Feels mediocre. I'd love to hear what you guys use or what you guys, what your experience was. Yeah, definitely. And, and if you've got anything better to suggest, then please do suggest it in the comments box below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Mm. Oh my god, it's amazing! How did you get such a nice fresh face? Must be this wall. Wow. Thank you, wall, for making my husband look so much less hairy. Is it alright? Yeah, it's lovely. You want a kiss? Mmm, I love you. Mmm, it's ooh.